The universe has millions upon millions of planets and stars, and it also contains millions upon millions of theories and puzzles. It's possible that members of the scientific community are aware of most of space phenomena. A black hole, also known as a singularity, continues to be baffling and incomprehensible to anyone who makes an effort to understand it. Despite the fact that it is fascinating but cannot be seen, it is not understood by humans and cannot be detected by scientists. Even in this day and age, black holes continue to be among the most fascinating natural occurrences. Researchers have spent a lot of time and money on this topic, yet they still don't fully understand black holes. Numerous examinations have been carried out by scientists such as Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking in an effort to get better understanding of these enigmatic individuals from the cosmos. Late in the 18th century, academics started speculating about what would happen if an object had a gravitational pull so strong that neither light nor dark could get through it. Want to know the details about it? Stay with us to the end of the video. There's a lot of information to be revealed. There is matter contained within black holes, but it is packed in at such an extreme density that the force of gravity dominates over all other aspects of the environment. The density of material that makes up a bowling ball determines its overall weight. If additional mass were packed into the same relatively small area, the resulting increase in gravity would be strong enough to drastically distort the path of light as it passed around the area. Massive stars, in the final stages of their lives, are known to collide, which result in the formation of black holes and maybe other unknown sources. When Subramaniam Chandan Sekhar, a physicist at the University of Chicago and winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics, realized that the massive stars should collapse when they exhaust the fuel for fusion reactions that keep them hot and luminous, he made a seminal contribution to the research of black holes. His discovery allowed scientists to better understand how black holes form. There are an infinite number of black holes spread out across the cosmos. Astronomers have been able, over the course of the last few years, to recognize the signals of their mergers and take photographs of the light from the gas spinning around them. This has enabled us to acquire crucial insights into the working of the cosmos. For example, black holes have provided us with the opportunity to put Einstein's general relativity theory, which describes the dynamic relationship that exists between mass, space, and time, to the ultimate test. The scientific community is hopeful that they will be able to provide a great deal more illumination on these and other fundamental aspects of the universe in the near future. On a smaller scale, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy may very probably have played a role in the birth of our Earth. With his 1916 publication in The General Principle of Relativity, Albert Einstein was the first to theorize about the potential existence of black holes. In the years that followed, in 1967, the American astronomer John Wheeler came up with the term black hole to refer to these types of phenomena. Cygnus X1, which is located in the Milky Way's Cygnus constellation in the Swan area, was the first actual black hole to be discovered, following many years during which black holes were thought to be nothing more than a theoretical concept. According to NASA, the first signs of a black hole were discovered in 1964 when a sounding rocket discovered celestial sources of X-rays. In 1971, astronomers were able to trace the X-rays back to a dazzling blue star orbiting a mysterious black object. It was proposed that the discovered X-rays were caused by an all-consuming black hole, which swallowed up stellar debris produced by the blazing star. A black hole can be conceptualized as having three distinct layers the event horizon, the singularity, and the interior. A zone that surrounds a black hole's event horizon is capable of preventing light from escaping is known as an event horizon. After a particle has crossed the event horizon, it is no longer able to leave the region. On the opposite side of the event horizon, gravity continues to behave the same way. Inside a black hole is a region known as the singularity which occurs when all the mass of the black hole is concentrated into a single point in space-time. The scientific community does not have a method for watching black holes in the same way that it has methods for observing celestial objects. Instead, scientists have to rely on radiation given off by black holes as they consume the dust and gas in their surroundings. The abundant dust and gas that surround central supermassive black holes in the galaxy, on the other hand, may obscure them making it impossible to detect the telltale radiation that they emit. 
In certain circumstances, the matter have drawn closer to a black hole, but after hitting the event horizon, rather than being dragged into the center of the black hole, it is ejected in all directions. It generates bright jets of material that travel at speeds that are very close to relativistic. These enormous jets can be seen from considerable distance, although the black hole itself cannot be seen. After two years of post-image analysis, the Event Horizon Telescope was finally successful in imaging a black hole in M87 in 2019. Due to the sheer magnitude of the data, it is impossible to transmit the staggering amount of data generated by the Global Telescope collaboration via the Internet. Researchers hope to eventually compile a large database of photographs of various black holes. The next goal that seems sensible to pursue is Sagittarius A, which is the core black hole of our galaxy. According to the findings of a study published in 2019, Sagittarius A has a lower level of activity than it was initially anticipated. This could be the result of magnetic fields surrounding the black hole and suffocating it. Researchers made the groundbreaking discovery that Sagittarius A is encircled by a halo of cold gas in the same year. This gave scientists their first in-depth look to date at the circumstances that exist surrounding a black hole. Researchers have identified one potential pathway that could lead to the birth of a black hole. However, there may be others. In the case that a huge star completely collapses, a black hole may be formed as a result of the event. This phenomenon, which was first anticipated by Professor Subramanian Chandansekhar, states that the massive star will collapse once all of its fuel has been used up. When we initially heard about this idea, we couldn't help but giggle. Nevertheless, other experts came along and confirmed our worst concerns by estimating that the star will spin inward toward the center endlessly, generating what we now refer to as a black hole. In order to eat more matter and build up their mass, Black holes must devour gas, stars, planets, and even other black holes. There are many varieties of black holes, one of which is called a supermassive black hole. The demise of a single star wouldn't have resulted in the formation of these enormous objects. Hence, the process by which they came into being is a mystery. Due to the fact that black holes are able to devour matter eternally, it is possible that the largest black holes are made up of a set of smaller black holes that have combined together. According to University of Chicago Professor Daniel Holes, these large black holes may have been especially hungry eaters, causing them to rapidly expand their current enormous size. In any case, these supermassive black holes were present in early cosmos, which may be too early for them to have been produced by stars that had become old enough to collide. This suggests that there was possibly another method for creating a black hole, which we haven't yet discovered, but will in the near future. There is a hologram of a black hole out there somewhere. It's possible that the whole universe is just a holographic image. In fact, this is one interpretation of the data presented in a recent article that was published in PRX Quantum. This investigation digs even deeper into the mystique that surrounds black holes. This is also an investigation into the holographic dualities that exist in the world. The arrhythmic hypothesis of holographic duality purpose, a link between the concepts of particles and interactions and general relativity. Even though it seems implausible, it's something that should be taken into consideration. At the very least, on a mathematical level, the primary idea that underpins holographic duality would be that the theories of particles and gravity are comparable to one another. Because of this, the mathematical operations that described by the ideas of particles can also be found in the theory of gravity. Both theories, in a general sense, represent spaces that are separate from one another. On the other hand, only accounts and particle theories have two dimensions, whereas gravity encompasses three. The researchers believe that by diving deeper into this area, they would gain better understanding of the processes that occur within a black hole. Enrico Rinaldi, a researcher at the University of Michigan, has decided to concentrate the attention of his present work on these two theories. In Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, there is no such thing as an element. In its place, there is only space-time. In addition to this, he states, and there is no gravity. There are simple particles inside the standard model of particle physics. For over a decade, one of the most pressing concerns in the field of physics has been the attempt to reconcile the two schools of thought. 
In their research on holographic duality, Rinaldi and his co-authors use quantum matrix models to bridge the gap that exists between these two ideas. Our knowledge of particle physics and general relativity were going to be combined according to the plan. They started with fundamental, block-based representations of the matrices. This framework is frequently applied in quantum systems. For example, in the place of the theory of particles, one-dimensional strings may be deployed. According to Rinaldi, these are most commonly used to determine the ground state, which is an important step in the manufacturing process. The researchers were able to provide an in-depth analysis of the phenomenon because they recreated the intense gravity that exists within a black hole. It's possible for yes and no to both be correct at the same time. When you hear the word hologram, you generally think of holographic transmitters like those seen in Star Wars. However, Rinaldi and his co-authors are talking about the boundary between the interior and the exterior of a black hole. The interior of a black hole is visualized as having three dimensions as space-time travels through it because of the workings of a black hole are predicted to be governed by general relativity. However, from the outside, the surface of the black hole appears to be flat. The fact that we do not perceive it as a three-dimensional object lends it to the appearance of being holographic. This is due to the fact that particle theory can be simplified into three dimensions. As a result, some people believe that the entire universe operates in the same way. However, as of right now, there is no evidence to support such a claim. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, at last, give this video a like. We'll see you soon.